Koupil jsem ti v Benátkách příběšek, ale rozbil jsem mi. Takže ono to takhle vypadá při tepleně, ale v realitě je to jako to to sedí, no. Dobrý. Tell me, I was the greatest living rockstar. Bráško, zavolám si za chvilku, dělám podcast, jo? Bráško! Čau, 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 bráško, čau. <laughs> you are your accents, you know, because people in New York kind of sound like that, you know? Prostě jsem se choval jako kapel. Jo. No. Hey, Mary A, give me a beer. Jako tak... máš osobní zónu? Jak moc jako ti nevadí být vedle lidí? Ne, já, jako, třeba... že já třeba když jim takhle. No, úplně. Ne, co v pohodě, já jsem v pohodě úplně. Já jsem právě úplně v klidu. Já jsem nevím, já jsem jako já mám lidi rád, víš Já taky mám lidi rád, ale tu když jsem moc blízko k něj sedou. Ale rád tě poznávám, čau. Jsem rád, že si dovalil úplně naprosto spontánně, kdybyste lidi viděli, jak vypadá můj stativ, tak. Máš prostě mobil opřený v nějakou bedínku tam. Ale no. to nevadí. Nevadí, ne? Právě krásná dnešní Protože tady hlavně dne, za prvý a za druhý my máme tu hlavní hodnotu. Srdíčko. 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 Prostě tak. A ty teda s angličtinou nemáš vůbec z toho, co ne. jsem pohopil. Jsi ne. jako, že asi mě tady budeš trochu mastit, ne teďka? To já nevím, já jsem takhle tím někde nepřemýšlel, že moje cesta na učení se angličtiny byla taková, že mi to jako ve škole vůbec nešlo. A vlastně jsem to nedokázal rozklíčovat. A pak jsem vlastně máme mi se hned rodil jeho mluvčího, který ke mně chodil jednou za týden a bavil se se mnou o věci, které mě bavily. No, Takže prostě mě, mě bylo 10 let a bavili jsme se o elektronice, o iPhone, o PlayStation, o vlastně ty věci, které mě hodně zajímaly v té době. A najednou jsem jako rozklíčoval takový ten, to vlastně, že najednou jsem se naučil ten jazyk jakoby používat, i když jsem neměl tu slovní zásobu takovou, tak už jsem dokázal se orientovat. A pak mm. vlastně najednou, když člověk prolomí tu první fázi, kdy ten jazyk jakoby mi přijde, že nějakým způsobem pochopíš, tak pak vlastně se rozvíjíš jako už vlastně sám. Mm-hmm. Takže jo. to byl můj první krok k tomu, jak to vlastně rozjet. No, no hele, o tomhle tom se určitě budeme bavit. To ale... ještě nejde. Uh, už to jde. Jo, ještě netočíme. Ještě netočíme, hele, <laughs> což už točíš. Ne? Ne, to číme. Jenom jsem se tě chtěl zeptat, ještě přece jenom jeden či dva lidi možná, který se kouká na tohle video, tak nevědí, kdo seš. Okay. Takže bychom mohl, možná jako mohli tě tady nějak představit, uh, dáme to fungu, dáme okay. to střídat, tak se nám bude chtít, a nekoukej mi do přípravy, jo? Dobrý, okej, okay, nebudu <laughs> So, for those, look, you, uh, for those no. of you who don't know you, tell us something about yourself. So, who am I? So, my name is Adam Misik. Adam, 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 it's, it's hard to say, like, So in English, it's Adam Masik, and I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter, uh, I write stories. I, I you like write pre- stories? Yeah, yeah, I write a lot, and that's pretty much, uh, yeah, I'm trying to be flexible. You know? These days, it's it's really important to to be able to like have as many abilities you possibly can, because you never know what you're going to need. Wow, ty zníš krásně, ty zníš normálně skoro jak rodilec, 9,89 z 10, ty vole. Like, Americans can't tell. They can? No, they can't tell. I was, I had a, like a phase, a period, where I was trying really hard, but I, I gave up. So I had a dialect coach, which was mm-hmm. really important. Uh, because when I was 17, I, I moved to Los Angeles to do some auditions, and I really needed to sound like an American. Mm-hmm. You know, so I could audition for American parts. Mm-hmm. So I had a dialect coach here in Prague, and we would just, uh, yeah, we would just train real hard. Mm-hmm. So you wanted to blend in from day one. I, I wanted to blend in perfectly. Mm-hmm. That was my goal. So when I got to the audition, I would like nobody would ask any questions. Mm-hmm. Basically. And when did this happen? This transition? It was. I guess I always had like a. I always had a talent for accents, mm-hmm. so it was, it was really, maybe like three years of, of really just trying to figure it out, mm-hmm. and I picked an actor who I liked, I would watch interviews with him, and I would try to, you know, get as close as possible to his accent, mm-hmm. basically. Can you, can you do more accents? 
I can do like New York accents, you know, because people in New York kind of sound like that, you know. It's like you get spaghetti with meatballs. You might sound Italian, you know, like Italian American. Like, you know, you order some spaghetti with some meatballs. That's how, that's how you roll one from New York. You can know you what I'm saying? Some, something southern, like Alabama. My, my uh, southern accents are, are, are tricky. They but are. I, like, hey, y'all, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Mary Ann, give me a beer. Jump in on my tractor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sounds... riding my tractor with... Pretty damn good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool. So yeah, yeah. But but with, with British accents is much. It's much harder. I, I recently, can't do it. I recently had. I was supposed to do an audition for a British TV show, mm -hmm. and I just. It's just a whole different world for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't. They do this thing where they say, the way they pronounce the word "no" is ridiculous to me. They British say, people. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. like no. So British no. people. I don't know. I can't do it. Honestly, I would so love to, but I was, uh, no. I I I have this like my fa one of the fa my one of my favorite singers is Liam Gallagher. It's like his accent is absolutely it's blowing my mind. I told me I was the greatest living rock star. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, like, so that sounds like, like Peaky like, Blinders. Yeah, it's peaky, uh -huh. yeah, but it's hard. I can't. It is. It it's is, it's it like is. a whole different thing. Like you, I guess when you're starting out with English, you just really have to pick a region. You know, that yeah. was what was told. Like my my dad, like coach said, that that's what he told me. You have to pick a region. But know? that's you. No, it's that's not the way it works for everybody. Yeah, well, most people. Yeah, because well, nobody gives a shit if you if people can tell. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was for me. But like when you when you try to learn a specific accent, I guess how I talk, it's it's like standard American accent. Mm -hmm. So that's I'm tr that's what I'm trying to do basically. Yeah. You know? But okay, accent and pronunciation. That's one thing. That's but one thing. what about what about your I'd say grammar skills and My grammar your skills literacy. are pretty horrible. Literacy. Uh, it was pretty. I. I. I it's, my grammar is shitty, mm -hmm. but I. I don't really know how I. How I learned. You know the proper way of. When we were talking, you know, in the past or in the future. I would say that's that's what makes you more American because most Americans don't know either. So yeah, it's like I have no idea. It was it was mostly huh. just really trying to talk to people. Well, that's the perfect way to, to learn. Blend. Mm. And it's really easy because, for me, it became a hobby. You mm -hmm. know, so trying to fit in and and really just it was it's a game for me. Where like people can't tell, and um, you know, you would totally fool me. Like, there's no way I could. Yeah, it's 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 maybe insane. after listening to you for a couple of hours, you maybe make, you make some like up. typical Changlish mistakes. You know the way you. Well, so the the. Well, Czech people would say, All right, "Let's try. Let's find a word." I'm not talking about pronunciation. I'm talking about the way you speak. You know, so the way you form sentences mainly. Mm. That's. That's much deeper than the sound, you know. But the problem, yeah, right. But Americans, they can't really tell because, like, if I don't tell them, they would probably, they wouldn't probably find out. So my goal is gonna try, you know, I'm gonna try to to get find, me, find, to find something, things. right? Hopefully, well, I'm, I'm sh and it's also when I'm here for, you know, let's say six months or something, mm -hmm. and I just don't have a chance to speak English and, and to hear it, to maybe. hear it, mm -hmm. and really, because it's a, it's a. And, you know, you have to practice and you have to really use it as much as possible. Your origin, your backstory. Many people know you. I didn't really know you before I... <laughs> before better tell me about you. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, not really. Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, my, uh, my, my age group, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your backstory? What's your origin? Your backstory, yeah. You mean like in what way? Um, in the way you grew up, where where did you grow so up? I, How did I, you grow up? I grew up in Prague. I was born here. So uh, do you feel like a Prager? Yeah, for sure, hundred percent. I never lived anywhere else, so mm -hmm. it's it's pretty much where I lived. I I belong here for sure. And 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 even when I, when I lived abroad, when I lived in the Los, when I lived in Los Angeles, you know, the moment when I came back to Prague, every time I I, I went back, it's just uh. Yeah, the connection is really, uh, yeah, you can't really, uh, yeah, you know, Prague boy. <laughs> what, what in Prague? Somebody's so so calling me, Larry. It's okay, pick it up. Brasco za vám zachou podělám podcast, jo? Brasco! Čau, 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 Brasco, čau. Yeah, that's the, that's the Prague thing. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, so Prague, yeah. Where in Prague? 
I was born Letna. Let <laughs> Letna. Letna. It's a Pokemon big It's a Letna, you know. It's uh, yeah. Well, I I grew up. I never lived anywhere else. Uh-huh. I I bought an apartment in the same building where my parents mm-hmm. lived. So I lived my entire life. I lived on the same spot. Mm, that's cool. And is it your all time favorite place in Prague? It is. Yeah. It's just uh, it changed a lot because obviously when I was when I was growing up, it was more. It was definitely cheaper rents mm-hmm. and stuff. So, you know, with time, I guess the culture there and people just change and mm-hmm. different restaurants. And you're what, 22? It's more like a hipster part of Prague right now, yeah, I guess. 22? I'm 22 years old, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it sure changed a lot, but I never really got to see it because I used to live in Prague for. I actually lived um, right by Strasmairak. So right, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, no, no, that's it's not Lenna anymore, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty specific. We're pretty specific about it was from Lenna. Mm-hmm. No, it's this whole show, it's anyway. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. No, but it's yeah, no. And you, you've been in show business your whole life, right? Am I yeah, right? I, I, my first movie. I know from well, Wikipedia. I, I did my first movie when I was <laughs> seven. Seven years old, yeah. So it was. Pretty much, that's pretty much all I know. Mm. So, yeah, I grew up in it, and you just can't really imagine doing anything else. Yeah, but you got to pick your lane, don't you? I mean, like, I don't know. Wh- that's what, what are you... That's a big question. You say, you say that it's important to have, what did you say, as many abilities as you can. Yeah, well, because but... I think it's changing these days, you know? It used to be pretty much uh, that you have to pick lane. Yeah. But these days, like, especially, like, especially when I was in L.A., like you could see all the kids when I went to an audition. It was just every everybody is just you know they they can do anything basically. Mm-hmm. It's like this Disney culture of mm-hmm. like being a singer, being an actor. You have to be able to you know dance and move and mm-hmm. do whatever. So it's really just uh, yeah. I, I I try to follow that you know that. Yeah, it's like the more cards you have, the more variety yeah, you have. You never know what's gonna mm-hmm. come. I mm-hmm. guess. Yeah, that's true. But I think that. If you had to define yourself with one of those activities, would you be able to pick one? I don't think so. So no, you're not you can't you couldn't be just a singer. No, no. Mm-hmm. I would miss act like I miss acting when I'm just singing, and mm-hmm. when I'm just singing, I miss acting. So. And do you think it's possible to rock all of these? Can you be? You know what I mean? I think so. I think all my all my heroes like. You know, like Jared Leto, for example. Jared I think, Leto. don't they say Leto? I thought they said Leto. Jared, Jared Leto. Yeah. Leto? Not yeah, Leto? No, no, no. It's Jared Leto. Jared mm. Leto is like, it, you know, my, that's pretty much, yeah, he's my hero. And especially in a way he can conquer acting, singing, and just really put it together. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, that's what I always did. And, and yeah. Hopefully it's gonna work out for me. <laughs> yeah, some funny Spanish guys did do English. Yeah, good. Hello, takže teďka, když switchnu do češtiny, pokud ti to nebude vadit, tak z těch všech o jako disciplín, když se budeme bavit o, já nevím, teda divadlo, filmy, hudba, dubbing, mm-hmm. co jsem se správně dočetl na Wikině. Spider-Man a... poslední jsem dělal teďka. Hardcore. A toho, <laughs> jakože toho, toho hlavního. Jo, jo. Uděj ho. Kamkoliv jdu, vidím jeho tvář. Vážně mi moc chybí. MJ, MJ, víš, já... Já jsem ti říct, že... Tě mám fakt rád, ale... Koupil jsem ti v Benátkách příběšek, ale rozbil jsem mi. Pane Stárku, pane Stárku, neumírejte, prosím. Pane a ty jsi musel dělat takhle při tepleně? <laughs> on má hrozně vysoký hlas, takže ono to takhle vypadá při tepleně, ale... V realitě je to, jako to se sedí, no. Hmm. To je hustý. Já si myslím, že bych mohl dělat dubbing. Že bych byl dobrý. Jo, jo máš dobrý hlas, 100%. Tohle? 100%. Až vyjde první album, pošle. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Já to pr- si hraju taky se svými podcastama a na Spotify dělám takový vzdělávací věci. A pak si jsem zjistil, že třeba když nahraju video na YouTube, tak nemám potřebu si ho po sobě pustit znovu. A když nahraju podcast, tak si nasadím sluchat. Já, 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 já mám svůj vlastní hlas, víš, že jako... Je to já, 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 já dobrý si někdy uh, pohonit, jako. Já to dělám... Já, tyhle... Ne, ego, je to taky příjemný, já to chápu. Já si myslím, že je to hrozně o tom, jaký seš, když prostě některý, já nevím, co, já třeba mám strašně rád sám sebe jako člověka, jo? a některý lidi s tím mají až problém, že, že nedokážou mít sami sebe rádi, že hmm. jako se považují jako v český kultuře, 
trošku odbuču. Je to jako považovaný mm. za špatnou věc, jako chválit se více rád a tak. Ne, to je důležitý. Ale ty vole, já, já si myslím, že, že je takový nějaký jakoby, nerozdíl mezi tím, když je člověk nějak přirozeně hrdý, mm. a když jsi jako namyšlený. Confidence myslím, and arrogance. Jo, já jako, že vlastně máš to, jakoby je to, je to nebo já, u mě s tím nikdy lidi mají problém, že já jsem vždycky byl sebevědomý a vždycky jsem tak nějak to prostě z tebe jde a některý lidi to nedokážou zkousnout. Ale myslím si, že aby to nespadlo do té arogance, tak mm-hmm. je důležité vlastně pořád vědět, jako kde stojíš těma nohama. V tom slova smyslu, že o sobě nemáš nějaký přehnaný mínění a víš, kde jako reálně v tu chvíli jako seš. Prostě self-awareness. Jo. Že? Self-awareness. Mm, to, je self-awareness. to je důležitý, no. Takže si neulítnout prostě. No, no, a taky si zůlí, ne? Ne? Jo, tak určitě byly momenty, kdy se přiulí. Já myslím, že každý to nikdy zažije. Ale jakoby je to potřeba balancovat, no? jako samozřejmě, že to moje ego, jako taky s tím mám problém, s tím bojuju, ale jakoby přiznávám to a vlastně je důležitý fakt to nějak jako balancovat no? s tím reálným světem. Jestli se tě můžu zeptat, v jakém slova smyslu ulítá, si ulítávám? Já nevím, tak prostě jsem se choval jako kretén. Jako, jako že na mistrovaně. Nevím, jestli úplně to, ale, ale, ale prostě byl jsem takový, že vlastně Člověk musí poslouchat i ostatní lidi a nejenom furt jenom si říkat tu svou pravdu, especially, mm. uh, especially when you're so young, you know. <laughs> Obzvlášť, no. Jo? Takže jako by to, myslím, že taky jako někdy chytračím prostě, ale je potřeba jako by to balancovat a, a když je člověk mezi lidmi, kteří fakt něco už jako mají za sebou a vlastně něco dokázali, tak jako by tam je ten moment spíš jako naslouchá mm. a ne vlastně jako chytračit, protože to lidi to nezajímá. Hmm. <laughs> Ale tak jakoby, já si myslím, že je dobrý najít tu fine line mezi tím jako vnímat ty věci, co ti lidi říkají, nějaké zpracovávat a prohnat si to tím svým kolečkem hmm. přečkovským. A, ale zároveň si jít jako za tím svým a držet se toho. Ne, to je jasný, jako určitě nebejt jako připosraný, ale, ale jako je podle mě důležitý držet prostě no, self-awareness. Self-awareness, <laughs> it's important. První věc, co si někdy budete na Ameriky, neříkejte český vtipy. <laughs> jo. To je pravda, no. O tom se taky budeme bavit. Hele, všecko bude, všecko bude. Amerika bude, vzdělávání bude, okay. uh, život ve stínu tvého otce bude. <laughs> to je každá otázka v každém Já právě. Ale kamhle, tím ho mám nasrat. Ale ty jsi celou dobu jenom na Celou dobu. Hele. What are you working on right now? So right now I'm finishing my album, the second album. Second album. How was and the first one? Was it successful? It was. It was like the most selling album at the time for like for two weeks, <laughs> which is good. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean like in the 90s it would be like, you know, I would sell like 60,000, you know, uh, copies. Yeah, okay. So let's talk, was, like, let's talk views. Views and views, streams. It was, and... it was more, it was like right before, I guess, YouTube. You know, era kind of exploded. So, so you mean which year? It was 2013. 2013. 20, no, 2014 when it came out. Wait, so you so were 17? Was, I was 17 years old. Yeah. And did You're you produce? Did math, you produce uh, an no, master I was, and the? I was that? I was writing, but I I was that time I you know I guess people really did it for me. Mm-hmm. I was not involved as much as I would probably as I probably should. But I was 17, so like, you know shit, when you're 17, <laughs> you know nothing, so I was just kind of, yeah, let's go with the flow. Now, like, well, my second album is definitely, like, I'm writing everything, mm-hmm. like, 90% of all the stuff that's going to be on the album, uh, it's, yeah, it's me, that's, that's, I, so I you're the it. boss. I, I wrote it, I wrote the lyrics, I, I, I wrote the songs, and yeah, I'm working with so many talented producers and, and different people to really just try to make the sounds different from I guess what's really the Czech sound right now. Like the mainstream yeah, shit. Yeah, it's in Czech, right? So it's really hard to mm-hmm. All me, of it? Yeah. This this album's gonna be in Czech. Mm-hmm. But it's really it was it's really hard because I was always I was always writing in English when I started. Mm-hmm. And then to switch to Czech, it was really hard. So I would I would sound like American trying to sing in Czech, right? Which Czech people kind of hate that. Mm-hmm. I guess Ben still is doing it a little bit, but, but he's for, different. for him, he's... it's different, right? For me, he makes his own language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but 
me, I was just, you know, kid from TV trying to do something, and people, I guess, you know. Did you have that label? Did you feel like? Yeah, I think so. I, I, to this day, I think I, I kind of still fight it, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I'm trying to do is, is to really change that. View, Break up. To, to really just kind of change the view, mm-hmm. and I want people to really kind of see me as a, as a songwriter, as a singer, and not just uh, I guess like a showbiz mm-hmm. personality, okay. you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I get it. So, how would you describe the sound of the new the album? That's it's different vibes. It's it's definitely some electronic music mm-hmm. in okay. uh, some trap, trap, some trap. Some trap and yeah, are, are you rapping or just? Singing? There's gonna be some rap. Yeah, I'm gonna be rapping. Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah, and some some of the songs are gonna be more rock and roll. Just, I guess, like, when you have, like, MGK, you know, mm-hmm. and, like, Young Thug, uh, no, Young Blood. <laughs> I like uh, Young Thug, young, though. Young Thug is cool, but Young Blood, and it's, yeah, it's kind of that vibe, so I guess I what I really like these days is, like, I guess, like, the 90s vibe is kind of mm-hmm. coming back, so guitars are coming back. Yeah. And, and you know, like classic trap. drums, live drums, mm-hmm. and, and, yeah, it's kind of cool, man. Sorry, mm-hmm. someone's fucking just texting me. Pick it up if you need to. Oh shit! Some girl is sending a picture news? of her dog. Nice. All right. <laughs> nice. I, th- I thought it's gonna be news. Success. I, th- I thought it's gonna be news, but it's just a girl with a dog. <laughs> yeah, I love dogs. I love. I lo- I really love small dogs. When they poop, it's like literally that big, and so they just kind of kick it away, you know. <laughs> Cause yeah, I hate when they poop real big, you know. Yeah, and my ex girlfriend, when she pooped, it was like perfect. Just take it away, like nobody can see shit, you know. <laughs> that's my that's my opinion, you know. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah okay. All right. Uh, so you're working on the album. When is it coming out? Give a little shout out to yourself. November. November. Take on November. I have to get it done. I have like seven songs. Mm. Get your Christmas, get your Christmas money ready. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> need money for you know for presents and stuff like that for my family. So I better buy the album. You know, <laughs> it's like the hobo it. sign. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy like socks for everybody. Everybody's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's just do it shortly. You said that you get this question all the time. Yeah. Uh, are you pissed about it? In what question? Uh, this one. Life in, my... in the shadow of your dad. I don't really think that I live in the shadow. Yeah, that's why I label it. So I think like my that. fans are people who, who know me. Uh huh. They don't really know who my dad is. You know. I don't know either of you. So. Yeah. Right. So well, if you don't know my dad, come on. I, I mean, I, I I do you know, know. I do know. know you so have to know, know some of the tunes. <laughs> Náš život hoří jako svíce a mrtví milovat nemohou. Náš život hoří jako svíce a mrtví milovat nemohou. Sure, yeah, but I mean, your parents probably gonna know my father. Of course, yeah. my father loves him. Yeah, right, so it's kind of a generational thing, mm-hmm. I guess, and it's funny, we had a concert together with my whole, like, all of our family, we came together and we uh, put on a show. So you yeah. honestly don't feel like you have to prove something no. to be... No, you know, really I mean. you know I'm what I mean. I'm just doing a whole different thing, you know. I'm doing my thing and I'm doing something different. It's music, you know, obviously. Uh, I, 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 I guess it's the same world, but I guess when I'm, with my style and everything, it's just everything. It's just a whole different thing. And my father was never really in the showbiz scene. Yeah, yeah. He was more, not against it, but he was never, he was never a part of that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, uh, me, I guess, I'm more in that world. And, yeah, so I think it, we're just doing, doing really, it's just a whole different thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah you get it. So you you've never felt that way? No, I just yeah. did my thing. I, I I play soccer, right? Football. 
<laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was really just uh, my father loved that. He loved when I played soccer. He would be very supportive. He never really pushed me into, uh, you know, all that acting or music stuff. He just kind of let me go my way. And uh, I guess my mom was always more about, well, you should, you know, play an instrument. You should, you know, learn how to play the guitar and, and <laughs> sing. And Wait stuff. a minute. Was it because she wanted you to be in the entertainment no, business? No, or? it was just like she wanted me to have a range of mm -hmm. things that mm -hmm. I could do. So I was doing sports. I was I was doing music. And, and then it kind of all came together and when I was like 11, 12. I was playing soccer. I guess I was pretty good at that. But I always just, that artist, you know, soul mm -hmm. was always there. And I just really felt like I had to, you know, let it explode. Mm -hmm. and, and I started playing with my band when I was 12 years old. I, I never really told my dad or my mom. I was just kind of doing, doing it. With my friends and we would meet up and rehearse and then we put on a show and uh we had a show it was my school like you know the end of the year yeah the seat like, guy, the seat guy. <laughs> and uh and then we performed with my band and then my dad saw it and everybody was kind of like well it's actually surprise it's surprisingly good you know <laughs> and and uh so he was like well you should maybe go in the studio and record it and so you know how it sounds so you know how it sounds and so we did that and then from there it just kind of went on and on and i was like when i was 14 i got signed with sony and then i went solo i split with the band and i just knew that this is what i'm gonna do for the rest of my life mm -hmm. so it was pretty much it's just given to me, you know. I never really thought about it. So many kids, and I, I, I see it with kids my age. They just trying to, they struggle. They struggle to really find themselves. The path, you know. Yeah. For me, I, I always kind of knew it. It's just, I just, I guess I have a different problem, and it's to really always come up with something new, because mm -hmm. trends change so fast these days. With music, it's it used to be put up, put out a single six months you can just let it you know air these days it's you you probably should release a song at least once a month you know? yeah and trends like tre with like the style of music it's just changing every six months these days and it's growing it's growing it's well. changing so yeah. you really have to keep up but also kind of still keep some part of yourself in it and it's that's just kinda, it this is know, exactly it you, so, so you just not you're not just uh yeah, you're just not you're not just a follower, but you also really you know come up maybe with some new things too. Sure. You took the words right out of uh, right out of my mouth because I was gonna say that it's not about following the trend. Yeah, it's yeah. about like twisting it in your own way. Well, there's a good book that I've read. Uh, shit, which which name? Uh, How to steal like an artist. Uh huh. Yeah, Kratia Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a it's a good book in English or Czech. Mm -hmm. Definitely find it. Basically, like. To have like an influence or something, that's good. You know, you, you should definitely follow trends, mm -hmm. but really just make it sound like it's your own. And I make guess it that's you. the point. Mm -hmm. Authentic. So when you do that, it's just you're not just a copycat. And but, it comes much easier to you. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah. It comes easy because it's you. You do you. Yo, man, I was I was really trying to figure out what to do for the past four years, mm -hmm. I guess. Tried like, I don't know. What music do I want to do? Like I was really just struggling to really find my voice, mm -hmm. and and it was like a really crazy time when I was in America. Then stuff was kind of, you know, I was losing jobs here, so I was like, "Fuck, I'm losing money. I don't know what to do. I'm in America, mm -hmm. like trying to, you know, make this dream work." And but at the same time money was a problem right because i was like so expensive to live, live yeah. in los angeles and i came back you know and yeah it's man it's a it's a struggle and, and i was like well yeah but you i forgot totally about like the the basic stuff that i always should do and that's write songs and release them you know mm -hmm. 
Because, yeah. like, you always, like, when, when you're just all over the place, I guess, like, it's really important to come back to yourself and really ask yourself, what is the number one thing? Like, where, where, where did I start, you know? Mm-hmm. Where have I started? Like, this is, yeah. I guess, the basic thing. And I was like, yeah, fuck it. I should write songs. And... Because there, there's not too many things that are important, right? Yeah. There's a couple things which are important. And they, they create the, I don't know, 80, 90% of your life. Yeah, right. Sure. And you got to focus on that, right. I guess. Mm-hmm. Shit. Mulder movie is not to shit. 13. Good, good, good. Where?